Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to continue with part two of my new Black Widow series where we discover new color combinations. So we are going to continue in this book, Nightfall by Maria Troll. We are working on this adorable little girl sitting on the sunflower. And in the last video, I showed you the color combinations for the leaves and how I created those and blended them together. And we also did the dress in the last video. If you've not yet seen that video, I'll make sure that that is linked up here in the upper right hand corner so that you can find it and watch that one first and then come back and continue with this one or however you'd like to do it. So today, I think in this video that we are going to come up with a color combination for her hair and then we'll probably move to the skin next and then we've got some leaves to do down here so we'll figure out the order but i think today we're going to do the hair if you love your black widow pencils as much as i do then please make sure you do subscribe to my channel and also turn on your bell notifications because this is only part two on what a plan to become a series of many videos and i'm not just going to stop on this one picture. I am going to probably choose another picture in another book and we'll continue learning different color combinations where we choose from the entire 144 set of pencils. So if you have any suggestions for other books that you might want me to show you color combinations in to continue this series after this picture is done, go ahead and put those in the comments or you could let me know in my Facebook group. If you're not in my Facebook group, make sure that you do check the description below because I'll have a link down there so that you can join us. So let's go ahead and get into this video. As in the last video in part one, I have my color wheel because we're going to kind of base a lot of our color combinations and how we choose our colors on the coloring or on the color wheel. And I also have my swatch chart because this is going to be much needed so that we could combine our colors and figure out what we're going to do with our hair. So if you've not already seen this video, I'll also make sure that's linked down in the description as well as up in the top right hand corner in the cards. But I did a whole entire video where I swatched out the entire 144 set of the Black Widow pencils into color family and then into exact color order. And... I did it on video and did it with all of you so that it takes the headache out of it for you guys and it makes life much easier. Let's take a look at what we have going on so far. So far we've got blues and then I decided to go with like this Marini type pink combination over here and the reason I did that is because I wanted to show some type of variation in the colors and I wanted them to stand out from one another and I wanted to make sure that I had a lot of this, um, I think we used gold here, and I wanted to make sure that I had a lot of the gold in the leaves so that they had a lot of highlights. And I did the same thing here with, I believe, a lighter pink and the snow, or which would be the white of the, um, of the Black Widow set. So. If you look on the color wheel, you can see that the dress is kind of over here on the color wheel, and then the leaves are kind of over here on the color wheel, and I wanted to make the leaves con contrast with themselves, and the way that I did that is I went across the color wheel and added in, not all the way across, but kind of like this. Completely contrasting would be directly across if I went from those teal greens all the way into the reds, and we don't want to do that. So I just kind of wanted them to complement one another, but really just kind of go pow on the page and really just stand out. So we kind of did this, and then if you can see these two colors next to one another, again, I did the same thing. I kind of went at an angle on the color wheel. So we are going to do the same thing with the hair and I kind of want to make it stand out from her dress. So if I look at the color wheel and I want to kind of go in this direction again, I'm, I'm kind of trying to make it stand out from not just her dress, but also the um, leaves too. And we've already got a lot of like the gold color 
in the leaves. So I want to kind of try to pull that into the hair too to create some highlights. So I may actually use the gold that I used over here and bring that into her hair and possibly do her hair like a blonde but with like darker roots to create much more depth in her hair because as you know our roots are always darker so we'll do the roots dark so i kind of want to be kind of in the the blonde range like make her hair look blonde so like a lot of like creamy goldy kind of yellow colors and then we will probably choose a brown here's my swatch sheet and I kind of want to just choose a brown for my shadow color because I already know that I am going to use the gold, which is from the Cobra set. So I already know that I want to use that one. So this is going to be my highlight color. I might go a little bit lighter too and maybe add in some cream or something to give it even more of a highlight but i'm really not sure yet i think that we probably need to choose a brown first and i don't want to go too dark like up in this area because i want her hair to remain light so if i'm looking at the browns and i bring it closer this cinnamon is really pretty and then we've got some colors over here that would probably be really pretty too, like the foxy brown or even maybe the olive brown if we wanted to stay more blonde. So I have swatched out a few colors and I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So if we kind of just pick our one main color, which I'm using the kind of blue greens as my main color because it is going to encompass a lot of the picture. And then we'll probably have some more greens and stuff down here in the leaves. So I'm kind of using that as my main color and I wanna go a little bit split complementary. So we're gonna go off this way and off this way. We've already gone this direction with our violet reds. And so I'm going to kind of veer off this direction now so that we could kind of bring in the colors over here on the color wheel so that everything is contrasting and it just really stands out. So I put some colors together and what I have here is cinnamon, olive brown, gold, and milk. I use the cinnamon as my darkest color because it looks like it has a little bit of red in it. It's kind of like a reddish brown and it's really, really pretty. So it's not gonna add too much brown into our hair. I'm only gonna use a very little bit of that, I think. And then I've got the olive brown, which is a very pretty brown and it's not too dark and it's got like a lot of gold in it, it looks like. It's more kind of on the tan end of the color spectrum so and then I'm bringing in my gold because like I said I'm gonna bring my gold back in because I want to pull the color from the leaves and bring it into the hair but use other contrasting colors to go along with it and then this would be my highlight color which would really make it stand out and then I added milk just because it's a tad bit lighter. I tried doing the cream, but the cream has too much orange in it, so it really did not look good. So we are gonna try the milk and see what happens with that. It's kind of light, so we'll see where we go with that. Our gold may end up being our main highlight color. Okay, so I have my four colors. You can see the variation between them. Let me switch these over so that you can see them in order. But here we go, there they are in order. They've got nice sharp leads. Of course, I used my favorite sharpener, my Doll 133. If you've not seen the review that I did on that video, I will link that in the upper right-hand corner for you. And there will also be a link down in the description if you would like to get one of those fabulous pencil sharpeners for yourself. It works so well on every kind of pencil. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I think that we are going to let me, let me do the lightest color first, just where I think that I may want some highlights. And so this would be a main highlighted area, and then this in here. Is this the milk? Oh, it's going down beautifully. It's really pretty. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I have you zoomed in, and we're just going to continue adding our highlights. I think I just need to come in with my um, Tombow Mono Zero, 
and I got a little bit of the red from her dress in here and like I told you guys in the previous video red is very hard to lift so when you're laying red you have to kind of be careful and it looks like a little bit of it came over oh that came up nicely I know y'all are going to ask me about this fabulous little um, eraser. It's really great. I got it on Amazon. I'll make sure I link that down for you below as well because it is a wonderful eraser. So let's go ahead and add some more of this cream. Or not the cream, the milk, I'm sorry. So just in all the areas where I feel like I'm going to want some highlights. And I may even come back and come over some of this again with the gold where I want. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So just follow along. I'm sure it'll turn out great. <laughs> I love this gold color. And I'm just kind of adding it in wherever and I'm gonna have to put more brown down here because you know how I always tell you guys that mistakes are always fixable like I just showed you I was trying to lift some of the red and in some of these areas it really wouldn't lift I don't know if you could see that on camera but like right over here so I'm going to have to possibly use my darker colors there to kind of try to cover some of that. Oh, this color is gorgeous. I really love doing hair and I've not done hair in quite some time. I've been doing nothing but potion bottles <laughs> for the Hannah Carlson color along. So let's come back and now we're going to add a little bit more color. There goes my lead. Oh, that is pretty. And then I got to be careful here not to, um, not to add too much by the skin because don't you hate when you're doing, I'm one of those people that doesn't ever do the skin first and you really should do the skin first because then you don't have to worry about another color getting onto the skin or rubbing into the skin I don't know if I said but this is the olive brown that I'm using here and naturally we're gonna want a lot of this at the tips Let's see I got it in her skin I'm going to go a little bit darker here so this way where I accidentally got some of the uh, red from her dress this will very nicely go over it and of course your hair is always going to be darker down underneath so right in here We're going to go over it with this color and then of course we're going to come back over with our darkest color. And I always like to shade around the face and make sure it's darker around the face with not as many highlights. Just trying to imagine where her uh, highlights would naturally be in her hair. And I kind of just want a really nice contrast as I'm laying these colors down. Like with this, um, what is it, olive brown, right in here. So that here we could leave it lighter. And then that would create the contrast in her hair so that the highlights really just stand out. We are 
are going to come back with our darkest of colors here in a minute after I feel like I've gotten enough of this laid down. This is such a pretty color though. You'll notice when I do hair, I kind of just do this like flicking motion. I always do that when I do hair, it's just kind of a habit. But it seems to work. And these are really small skinny strands because there's really not a whole lot of hair to color on this one. So now we're gonna come back with our cinnamon. And we are really gonna darken it up here where her roots would be. And then maybe right here by her face. What a gorgeous color. Oh, this is making such a difference. Look how much contrast this is creating. It's really going to make the highlights really stand out. And like I told you before here, where we are by her face, there would naturally be a shadow here. So this would be darker. And then down here on the ends of the hair, I always like to make that a little bit darker as well. And I just kind of got a little bit on our skin, but that's okay. We will come back and fix it. With my little eraser. I'm not sure how well you could see that on camera, but my little mono zero did such a great job taking off that red. I know I said earlier that red is really hard to lift, so you kind of have to be really careful when you're using a color like red. And that's why when you're coloring with it, you don't lay, you know, use like a really hard pressure and lay a bunch of pigment down right away because you just really want to be careful. And like here, I'm so close to the skin and I really don't want it to get on my skin and I had just gotten out of the lines a little bit so I was able to fix it which is great so let's go ahead and come back in with our darkest color our cinnamon and we're gonna continue just adding this in some areas and I'm laying it down with very light pressure And as you can see, this color is really going to help to just make the colors that are much lighter really just pop out. And we are going to have to come back and lay a couple of layers down to actually see the full effect. So we might have enough of this down. Let me add a little bit more like in here. These pencils work so well on this paper in this book. Okay, so let me put in a little bit more of my olive brown to kind of pull that darker color out. And I really just kind of want like this highlight right here to stay and this one right here when you got like not a lot of hair to color and you've got little strands like this it's really creative to just kind of imagine how you want it to look when it's done and you could kind of use these small strands just to create extra added highlights 
so that you've got like one one strand where it's darker and then another strand where it's kind of highlighted and it kind of just makes that part of the hair just really pop. So this is our second darkest color that we're using. It's not the darkest one, but we're just kind of trying to pull the hair through or pull the darker color through, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and come back now with our gold. And let's see what we can do with this one. Oh, look how pretty these colors are together. I'm trying not to go all the way because I want to be able to come back with that milk color in some of these strands here. So I'm just going to kind of pull down that olive color that I was using. And we're just pulling all of this through here to create more highlights. And I'll probably have to come back again one more time with my darker color. It's all about just coming back and going back and forth and laying more, letter, laying more layers down. And you could also always come back where you added your lightest colors and come back and go over them again and add some dark to create the dimension that you're looking for in the hair strands. And I might have enough of that one down. Let's come back and see what we can do with the milk now. So I'm just bringing the milk in now in all the other areas that were not initially covered. But I'm just pulling all of this down and through. I'm going to need to add more of the darker colors on this side of the hair. These colors are really pretty together. Let's come back with our cinnamon. And add a little bit more dimension in some areas. I'm trying to be able to do this, but leave my finger out of your way <laughs> so y'all could see what I'm doing. I kind of want this darker right here. See, this is kind of all going to bring it together now. Well, that looks pretty. I think I need to turn the book just a little bit so that I could get in over here. This is going to darken it up just because I'm coming in and adding another layer, but that's really pretty. Come down here and do the way ends of the hair. Trying to be really careful not to get it on the skin here. But coming over here is probably going to make a pretty big difference. See how it's kind of just darkening this up? I'm going to darken it up all a lot more all over here by the face because, like I said before, around the face is where you're going to see more shadows. And I don't want to come in too much right here, but I do right here by the face. And then I think I want to leave just one little highlight strand right there. And I'm coming back with my olive brown, and I want to make this strand here lighter and kind of blend it in with the cinnamon. Uh, 
So now it's really coming together. It looks really pretty. Just kind of pulling down that darker color. And then here by the face, I just had to blow a little bit of that off. I had a cosmetic brush that I used to do used to use all the time to get the extra wax and stuff off of my page and I don't know what happened to it. So I need to get myself another one. It's kind of pulling all of this through. We might have enough of a color variance now. I think we need a little bit more cinnamon right in here, maybe. We've got this extra strand. When you keep coming back with your darkest of colors, that is how you create more depth. So that's what I'm trying to do so that it just really pops off the page when it's finished. I think I just want this strand to be all darker. I'm so used to coloring hair where it is just so much more hair. <laughs> And not just this like little amount of hair. I think I need the olive brown right in here. See how that's just kind of adding some color variance right there. And then I'll do the same right here. Oh, I really like this now. Okay, so we can come back with our gold and add more highlights. Oh, look at that pop, how pretty. See, that's what you're trying to do. And when you're doing hair, it looks really pretty when you've got all these individual strands and you've just got a huge color variation in the hair. I'm just so impressed with these pencils. I love these pencils. I know I just keep saying that, but for the price and now to have 144 colors, it's awesome. Because if you think about it, you guys know I absolutely love my Prismacolors. But if you buy a 150 set of the Prismacolors, you're getting a lot of grays. And a lot of people, especially beginner colorists, don't use the grays. And I use my grays all the time because they're what I use to shade. I actually did a video on that. If I remember, I'll make sure that I link that as well, but I did a video on that showing how to use your grays and your Prisma color set to shade. And the rules behind that. I even did a background with the grays on a globe that I did in a Kirby Rosane's book. And showed how to apply a shadow to make something look like it was just popping off the page. So I've got a couple videos on my channel on the grays and how I would use them. But like a lot of people don't use all those grays. So for that reason, this set is really great because you're getting a lot of other color variances in other colors. I'm just adding a little bit more darkness. just to show some differences in the colors. But 
I really like how her hair is turning out. I'm almost looking at it thinking maybe I should add another color. You guys know how I always do that. Make sure when you do this that your lead is fairly sharp on your pencil because that will really help you to keep your color where you want it. I think this is the only the only the second time that I've done hair in a video. So this was not just a good video where we came up with a gorgeous color combination, another one, but also kind of a tutorial on hair, which is great. I have my gold and we're just going to come back in here and we're just going to kind of blend some of this out and add in more highlights. And this will probably be the last thing that I do to her hair. I think I want this right here a little bit darker. And I think that's all I can do because I don't think the paper in this book is going to withstand much more. I think I've already maxed on my layers. I kind of like the gold more than I do the milk. This gold just really stands out. It's a beautiful color. Oh my goodness, I might have found a new favorite color in the Monarch set. Look how pretty this color is. really doing a great job of blending the colors out as well. Let's just come back down in here and just go over all of it. This is my darkest shade. I'm just adding a little bit more of this. Let's go over the color combination we came up with. We have the cinnamon, the olive brown, the gold, and the milk. Okay, so we've got the cinnamon, the olive brown, the gold, and the milk. And again, here is the color variance in those. And we didn't use a lot of the milk because I found the gold to be really beautiful and make it really pop a lot more where I wanted a huge color variance between the, um, the gold and then the cinnamon. But they all look really pretty together. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you do give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel a lot. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Happy coloring. Bye.